Hey everybody, Pepper Chronicles here. We're going to do a quick little uh, pepper garden update of the outside. So we'll flip you around. I'll start out here with the uh, with my pubescence plants, the two of them. There's the uh, the turbo pube, which I moved up. I moved both of these up off the slab and put them out here under my patio, so they because they were just getting fried by the sun. And um, this thing, the turbo pube has got flowers all over it, cool little purple flowers. I've been battling earwigs with it, but um, I think I've got the upper hand on them now. And it's got, it's been having pods hanging on it for quite a long time. I mean, they're still green, they're not changing yet, but there's a few hanging. Pretty good sized meaty pods, man. And I've got some new pods also forming, as you can see back here. And there's another one here somewhere. Let me look. Look and look and look. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Uh, leaf's in the way. But, yeah, some new ones forming. Got some on this other side, too. There's a nice size one there. There's a nice size one down here. And there's a couple others, but I'm not going to look for them right now. And then there's the yellow manzano. It's not flowering yet, but um, and it has been getting eaten alive by earwigs. But I used some next level earwig extermination tactics uh, over the last couple of days, and I think I've I think I've got them whipped. And we'll take you down here. We'll go over to the um, to the slab here, and I'll show you what's going on real quick. We've got a few new pods. Um, there's my scorpion arrow. God dang, it's bright. It is hot out too. It's about 96, 97 degrees right now. But there's my scorpion arrow. It's still throwing small pods, but I moved this from indoors to outdoors, and these pods were on it when it was forming indoors. It is forming some newer pods too that have a slightly different shape to them. And like this pod here. It's kind of doing that sunrise thing where they're they're sticking up. Quite a few of them are, and they're small. And I'm going to leave them on the plant for a while to see if they actually turn red this time. Uh, let's see what else. Let's start up here at up front here, the front row. Here's one of my Assam boots. The heat has really been kicking these guys' ass. Um, I've been having to come out here and water them every day. Um, no pods on that one yet. There's an infinity here. No pods on it yet. And well, let's look at let's look back at the whole garden here, so you can kind of see it. Well, there's such a glare here, I can't really see what I'm seeing through the viewfinder here. But that's what we're looking like. Uh, infinity, not much going on. Lots of flowers on it. This is my other Assam boot, and it's kind of hard to bend down here, but got a, got some pods forming. There's a decent sized one there, and there's other new ones forming on that. Here's one of my Jay's Ghost Scorpions. Lots of flowers, no pods yet. Here's my Peach Habilokia, which I took all the pods off of it that were very small and jelly bean sized, and now I'm starting to get bigger and different shaped pods on it which is exciting and this thing is a definite producer man definite producer oh, got some crappy looking leaves I'm gonna pull off but yeah decent looking pod back there too um, there's a chocolate boot that was stunted. Um, lots of flowers, no pods that I can see yet. Here's one of my seven pot primos that um, had a bunch of small little pods on it. I haven't seen any new pods yet, but it is flowering up again. This, I believe, is a seven pot brown. No, it's a Jamaican chocolate habanero. Sorry. And there is, it's just now starting to form pods. And if you can see, get my camera there. The first couple of little pods are starting to form on that. I'm really hoping this comes out because it's best tasting habanero I've tried yet. 
And there's my seven pot brown from Todd. Starting to form some peppers on her. There's, there's the biggest pot on it right now. There's a few others forming on it. Can't wait to see what those things look like. Uh, Nagamorich. It's got a bunch of little pods forming all over it. Hopefully they get a little bigger. Um, oh, listen, the ice cream truck. Yeah, nice. It's a Billy Boy Jonah that I had a couple of pods on it. And I uh, took them off because they were small and it's starting to form. There's one pod. There's probably a couple more on it. Um, there's my reaper that was looking so bad for so long. It's actually the new growth up top here. Actually, it looks a little better, so there's still hope yet for this thing. And there's a, this, this one next to it is a brain strain from Cappy, and it's just been getting beat up by the sun pretty good. No pods that I can see on that thing yet, but it is flowering, and some of the leaves are kind of yellow. I might have to give that some cow mag, I'm, I believe. And let's get back here without destroying my plants here. There's another seven pot brown. Um, that one's not really doing much. This one was really sick. It's uh, looking better. Got a bunch of flowers on it, so we'll see. And this, oh crap, what the hell is it? This is a source butch tea. Um, no pods yet. And this one is a Maruga Satan. I believe one of my Maruga Satans does have some a pod on it forming somewhere. Lots of flowers, but I think once it gets out of the 100 degree everyday range and starts getting down into the low 90s and 80s, I think, I think I'll see some improvement on that. Here's my little Ahi Ponca that's about ready to get uh, potted up into a bigger container. Um, let's see. There's my white boot. Or actually two white boots that recently got transplanted and it's really just been taken off doing really well it's actually got a few flowers on it and there is one little pod starting to form on it um, there's my eBay ahi panka there no pods yet but it's really growing up nice and tall uh, what's this this is a Duglavarian that I got from Silver Surfer. It does have a couple of pods on it. If we can look into the jungle here. There's a couple of pods forming that look pretty decent. Oh, there's a nice big one back there. I didn't even know that was there. Pretty good sized pod there. But I can't wait to see what those things look uh, end up being like. And then back here in this corner, this is a yellow brain strain from Cappy, and I believe it does have a couple of pods starting to go on it, starting to form. Um, it's not doing as well as my other brain strain, but um, I think it'll catch up. This here is a butch tea. Um, no pods yet, but it's flowering like crazy. There's my Carolina Reaper, my other one. Um, a lot of flowers, no pods yet, but I did take all the small pods that were off. I believe there was about 11 on there total. I took them all off and uh, no new pods yet. And what's this? That's another source butch tea. Um, still no pods, but the, some of these plants are younger than the other ones. So, And then this is my uh, yellow seven pot from John, the Italian 556. This plant's doing pretty good. Um, it's got a nice big pod there. The thing is pretty good sized. Bunch of new pods uh, starting to form on it too. All over actually. And this thing is flowering like crazy. I think it's going to be a really good producer. Um, there is lots of pods, uh, newer pods that um, I'm hoping I'll get about the size of this big one over here. We'll see. This one has George Payne's name on it right here as soon as it gets ripe. Can't wait to see him try that bad boy. Um, let's see, and then we got the Brown Dougla cross with a scorpion from the Silver Surfer. 
This plant looks really, really healthy considering it was one of my stunted plants earlier. It's got a bunch of flowers, no pods yet, but um, look at the size of the leaf on this thing. I mean, it actually, it's bigger than my hand, this leaf. Very healthy looking plant. Um, very cool. Let's see, we got a Barakpur here, a Barakpur 7 pot. Um, there is, I see one pod starting to form on that. But, and, shit. Back here's another Jay's Ghost Scorpion. And really tall, but no pods yet. And the seven pot Jonah that I took all the pods off of. Sent a couple of pods off of this to uh, George Payne already. Lots of flowers, and it does have a new pod forming up already. Well, can you see it? I can see it. There we go. And what's this? This is a bunch. The Bohemian goat. It does have one pod on it, but I don't know where it is. And the pods on that are supposed to be huge. Um, don't know yet. There's my seven pot white. Um, had a few small pods on it that I clipped off. No new pods on that yet. Uh, this is a Dougla red. This is a red Dougla crossed with a Butch T scorpion from the Silver Surfer. Um, no pods, but lots of flowers. Oh boy. And what's this? There's another Maruga Satan. And I do see a pod on it. Hope it needs to get bigger. And what's this thing? That's a chocolate scorpion. And. No pods, but tons and tons of flowers, so there's still hope. See, I haven't gone through this row yet, have I? All right. Here's my other yellow brain strain from Cappy, and it's got some really cool looking pods on it. Very cool. Pods are growing, they're getting bigger. Um, a nice fat one there. A nice fat old yellow brain strain. Loaded, actually. There's quite a few, and there's new pods forming on it, so that's good. The Billy Boy Dougla. I see one little pod on it. But I, something tells me in about a month or so I'm going to have quite a few more pods to show. Here is a, my other brain strain from Cappy. There is pods on it, or at least a couple. I don't know if you can see back there, but there's a few. Uh, yeah, there's more up here. I don't know, that doesn't really have a true brain strain shape, but a couple of them do. And there is my red Scorponero, and look at these pods compared to my other Scorponero. Get out of the way, Leaf, but look at that. That looks more true to form, doesn't it? At least I think it does. And then there's a little orange one back there that I need to... Well, shit, if I can get the camera. That, that one's coming off of there. But the new pods coming on that look a lot different than my other Scorponero that was grown indoors. And what's this? This is the, my Cornish Naga. Really tasty pods off of that thing. Um, no new pods yet, but I clipped off all the other pods. Oh, actually, yeah. There is some new pods forming already on this. There's some new ones. These make some really strange looking pods. Very str weird. Let's see, this is, I believe, another Jay's Ghost Scorpion. It is. That's the two in the same pot. It's not even flowering yet. But. And what's this? Oh, hell. What is that? Oh, another red, uh, a red Dougla crossed with a scorpion. Lots of flowers, but no pods. 
And this is my Billy Boy Dougla that I got from Todd. There's a ton of flowers on this thing, and I I think there's a couple of pods or two, but I don't see them right now. Um, there's my lone Maruga scorpion, Trinidad Maruga, with one pod on it that I see, but a lot more flowers. And then this big old tall thing is the unknown ahi that I got from Todd at Ahi Mix. And it's starting to form pods, very slow growing pods, but that's what they're looking like. And they're growing straight up. So that's that's what they're looking like. Look at that. They're all they're not hanging down, they're just growing straight up. Um, there's lots of pods forming on it. And another one down there. But it's gonna be interesting to see actually what this actually is and what the pods taste like. It'll be interesting. Okay, I think I've showed you about everything out here. Um, you know, not a whole lot of pod development, but um, I'm, I'm getting them and I've, I'm thinking that uh, here pretty soon, once the uh, 100 degree weather goes away, um, which should be in a couple of days, um, things are gonna look, are gonna take off for me. So that's, that's what it's looking like outside and I hope you all have a good one. Take her easy.